is the trade deal what's going to drive markets, you know, on top of the new infection rates and a possible second, uh, second wave and lockdown? Hi, Francine. That, uh, yes, I think that um, uh, there certainly is going to just, uh, you know, be this vulnerability around, um, uh, you know, whether the deal, you know, could undermine some of the um, enhanced growth um, confidence that's been developing. Um, and I think it's, again, just highlights that some of the, the sensitivities that are out there generally around how sustained, um, you know, is this uh, progress that we're seeing as, uh, you know, lockdowns are starting to be uh, unwound, activities picking up. Um, and the hopes for that to carry through to something that's far more sustainable. Andrew, w when you look at, you know, the conversation three, four weeks ago, it was whether markets and stocks in specific were running ahead of the real economy. But it seems that the real economy is not doing too bad when you see certain data points. I mean, was the market right all along? Well, it's impressive, isn't it, that um, uh, some of these uh, numbers that you're reporting today for the PMIs uh, that we're seeing around the world, and especially here in Europe. Um, I think that um, uh, you know, one shouldn't lose sight that there was a, a very strong uh, you know, level of, of intervention that uh, managed to, to provide that sort of healing process in markets as we came into uh, April. Um, you know, from there, I think that what you've seen is this incredible uh, liquidity that stayed in and gone through um, the marketplace. And as in some ways, we're still trying to assess what is the, the real economy effects uh, looking forward. Some of this recovery, at just at the moment, as a rebound, you know, has elements of sort of you know, mechanical uh, uh, degree of, um, of bounce from how bad that uh, you know the declines have been. But I have to say, it is encouraging to see um, you know, how you know, Europe is bouncing back, especially some of the more encouraging signs in the sort of sequential um, uh, elements of recovery in China as well. And so, uh, you know, I think that the markets are still feel. You know, maybe um, a lot of that was to do with that liquidity surge and finding a, a home into financial assets. But now we're seeing uh, at least some sense that uh, there's support there. But, uh, but I would caution um, from here that the reality is that even if we see the, the rebound continue further here, we're still going to have many uh, details and uh, elements around the economy and its ability to sustain um, recovery that will be coming out in the months ahead especially when you look around unemployment, around what that means ultimately for uh, consumption. And therefore, I think that one uh, you know, has to be just a little bit careful of that this is, you know, in some ways, just um, uh, you know, telling us that the good news is, is in the market, uh, you know, what comes next. And that may be a little bit more uh, uh, you know, uncertain than the, the current enthusiasm we see today. Yeah, what is priced in, Andrew? When, when you look at markets around the world, how much of a possible second wave or a partial lockdown of certain economies is already priced in? So I'm not sure it really is. Um, I think that this stage that uh, we've seen a lot of the enthusiasm um, really looking at actually, uh, you know, the V-shaped recovery uh, could be possible. Uh, and I think that the, the confidence around that has been growing. Um, again, I think a lot of that is to, towards the degree that fiscal policy, picking up the baton from monetary policy, and this time, unlike in the GFC, that it's actually been sustained, and so we won't see that move to austerity um, uh, you know, very quickly. Um, but again, I think that the, the elements that are unclear here and that will take some time <clears throat> are what happens um, you know, if we do see some degree of um, second lockdown. I think what's more likely is the elements of looking around how unemployment um, develops, how much that income can be restored and then sustained, and how much some of the sectors that have been most badly hit during this period um, you know, can make um, recoveries. And I think that process is going to be many months in the making. The markets, I think, you know, will take stock of that. And they're starting in some ways, um, you know, even with the good news we, we're seeing at present, that are starting to, to build in that, um, you know, what they need to then have that follow through. And maybe it's the confidence that there won't be anything to hold back that growth and it really can become, you know, a much more sustained um, recovery. 